So up next, we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and do part A. So for part A, it says, what are the probability that two randomly selected 60-year-old male will survive the year? So one key thing that you should kind of keep note is how many people they ask us to do it for. So they ask us to do it for two randomly selected 60-year-old male. So instead of just randomly selecting one person, we're randomly selecting multiple person. And for this one, we're gonna assume they're independent from each other because if one 60 year old male die, it's not really gonna affect the probability that the other 60 year old male will die or survive. So they're independent from each other. So that's why for this case scenario, we wanna do the uh, multiplication rule, which just say we have multiplied the two probability. So what we want to do, we want to do the probability that the first person survive and that the second person also survive because we want both of them to survive. So all we have to do is get the probability that the first person survive, which is 0.92186, and multiply that by the probability that the second person will survive, which is 0. 92186. All right, um, any questions so far? I got 0.92186 times 0.92186. All right, so in my calculator, all I'm going to do is do that. So I'm going to do 0 0.92186. And for this one, if you look at it, since both of them are the same number, I'm going to do it to the second power. So I'm going to use this x squared to do it to the second power. And I give us the answer. So our final answer will be 0.84. Nine eight, or if you want to write it as a probability, you can say eighty four point ninety eight percent. All right, and that's it for A. Any question in regard to A? All right, cool. All right, so let's move on to part B. So for part B, it says, what are the probability that two randomly selected six-year-old male will not survive the year? So in this case, we essentially want the opposite. So we want both of them not to survive. So if I know the probability that they survive is 0.92186, If I want to find the probability that they don't survive, which is just a complement, I will have to do one minus 0.92186. So let me go ahead and do that in my calculator. So you do one minus 0.92186. and you get 0.07814. So that's the probability that one randomly selected six-year-old male will not survive the year. But if you look at the question, we want that two randomly selected six-year-old male will not survive the year. So once again, we have to do, we have to apply the multiplication rule. So we have to say probability that the first one doesn't survive and the probability that the second one also doesn't survive. So for this one, we'll say 0 0.07814. And you're gonna multiply by that same number, 0 0.07814. Right. Any questions so far on that?
So that's the point zero seven one. Oops, that's a number mix up eight one four, and you're going to do that to the second power. And we get 0 0.006. And if we want, we could go 1. Or if we want to put it in a percent, we could say 0.61%. And that'll be your answer for B. So the kind of time is very unlikely that if we have two 60 year old males that were randomly selected, that both of them will not survive the year. It's telling you that's very unlikely because it's more likely that both of them survive or that one of the two survive. But it's telling us a probability that both of them don't survive is very unlikely because of less than 5%. Right. Any questions in regard to that last problem? No question. All right, cool. All right, sweet. All right, so what I want you to do, I want you to practice on the next problem. So I'll give you a minute or so to try to do this problem. So it's going to be the same concept. We're still doing the multiplication rule. So I want you to try out and do these two parts. So do part A and also do part B. And we'll go over it together as a class. And if you have any questions, um, you can either um, just put it in the chat, or if you want, you can just unmute your mic and then just say if you have a question or not. Did we start class already? Yep. Oh, okay. So there's notes that I missed? Um, well, like, uh, yeah. Okay, because it looks like what we were, it looks like I didn't miss too much. Yeah, no, like we barely started. Okay. Notes. All right, so. What is the probability that a singular baby has green eyes? So if you want, you can put it in the chat, or if you want, you can just shout it out. So either one will be acceptable.
or a single baby? Oh. Cool. So should it be point zero six? So that's the probability that a single baby that that single baby will have green eyes. Because pretty much right now we want to find the probability that one baby will have green eyes, and they told us that is six percent. So same thing if we want to find the probability that the baby doesn't have green eye, you do one minus the point zero six, and you should get point ninety four. Because you're going to need that for part A, and you're also going to need it for part B. All right. So then for part A, if you look at it, it says, um, find the probability that both have green eyes. So that means we want the first baby to have green eyes and the second baby to have green eyes. So that means we're going to do 0 0.06. And you're going to multiply that by 0 0.06. What page are we on? Page 20. Wow. Okay. All right, so if you do 0 0.06 times 0 0.06, you get 0 0.0036. Or if you want to write as a percent, you could have gotten 0.36%. And that's it for that one. So you want to use the multiplication rule whenever you're doing multiple selection. If you're doing one selection, then these are your probability for one selection. But if we're doing multiple selection, what you have to do, you have to just multiply those probabilities together. And that will give you the probability of that event or that certain event occurring. All right, so that's it for A. So we're gonna go on to part B if there's no questions. A question. Um, so you know how you said the probability that it doesn't have green eyes, is that only for one person? Correct. Okay, so yeah. you just subtract 0.6 by 1. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Cool. All right, so let's do B. All right, so for B is a little bit different because once the first baby doesn't have green eyes and the second baby have green eyes. So that way I wrote that the first baby right here doesn't have green eyes and then the second baby does have green eyes. So for this one, we're going to say 0.94 because that's the percentage of baby that don't have green eye. And you can multiply that by the percentage of baby that do have green eye, which is 0 0.06. So let's see what that give me. So 0 0.94 multiplied by 0 0.06. And that will give me 0 0.0. Five, six, four, or if you want, you can put five point six four percent. All right, and that's it for B. Any question for B? All right, sweet. So let's move on down. Oh wait, can I see it for a second? Thank you. I'm almost done. Okay. All right. Also, if you kind of look at A and B, A will be considered unusual because it's less than 5%. But if you look at B, B will be considered kind of normal because that percentage is higher than 5%. So just remember the unusual rule, uh, if it's 5% or less, we say that event is considered to be unusual. But if it's higher than 5%, we pretty much just say that um, that event is kind of normal and could most likely happen. All right, mm. let's move on down. So for the next rule that we're gonna learn, we're just expanding on the multiplication rule. So it is saying if we have multiple selection, so more than two selection, as long as those um, selection are independent from each other, we could apply the multiplication rule. So say if I'm doing 
I'm randomly selected three people. So we can get the probability of those three people and just multiply them times each other. So are you saying we could expand the multiplication rules to instead of just two randomly selected object or people, we can expand it to multiple randomly selected objects. So that's what we're gonna do in the next part. So if you look at this problem where it says the probability a randomly selected 40 year old male will be alive to be 41 year old is 99.855%. So they're telling us the probability of a singular person surviving from 40 to 41 is 99.855%. So they're telling us the probability they survive is 0.9985. All right, any question in regard to that probability? I have a question, not on that, but on um, wait, where we did like PE times PE, probability times probability. Like the answer, when you put like a U like this, like upside down U, does that, that means like joint? Yeah, because if you remember, um, that means the N statement, because this yeah. correspond to N. Uh -huh. And then the other one is OR. Correct. Okay. So pretty much for this one saying the probability that the first person survived and the second person survived and the third person survived. So that okay. would be the, um, the intersection or the upside down U. Okay. All right, so we also want to find the probability that a person does not survive. So once again, we do the complement rule. So for this one, we really have space to write it out, but we're going to do one minus the point nine nine eight five five, and you get point zero zero one four five. So we have the probability a person survive, well, a male survive from 40 to 41 year old. And we have the probability they don't survive from 40 to 41 year old, which is 0.00145. All right, so let's go ahead and do part A. So part A say, what is the probability that two randomly selected 40 year old male would live to be 41 years old? So key thing here, we're doing it for two randomly selected four-year-old male. So that's telling us we're doing multiple selection. Also, we're gonna assume they're independent from each other because the probability that one of them survive doesn't really affect the probability that the second one will survive. So they're independent from each other. So we're gonna use the independent rule. So we're gonna say probability the first one survive and the probability the second survive and we're gonna find that right now by doing 0.99855. And instead of writing this number twice, I'm gonna use exponent to just make it simpler. So I'm gonna just make this to the second power. Because since we're gonna do 0 0.99855 times 0 0.99855 again, you can just write it to the second power and it's the same thing. So let me go ahead and get that. So we go 0 0.99855, and we're gonna do that to the second power. And you get 0 0.9971, or if you want it in percent, you get 99.71%. All right, and that's it for A. Any question for A? This is a question, not like for this, it's kind of off topic, but um, do online classes like for math work like this typically? Typically, from my understanding from my uh, math classes, they usually um, you have to do modules and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know typically how a math class some of the work online. 
but you do they probably do like modules and stuff like that they never really have like a video chat where you can talk to the professor like um i don't really think so okay i think it's like they tell you what chapters to read uh-huh. and then like you're on your own basically like they tell you what sections to read and then what homework ties in with the section that you need to do oh that would be so stressful thank god i'm not doing that i was questioning on doing it but i was like i don't know it's math yeah like i think you just like self-pace yourself yeah all right, so let's do B. So for B, it says, what is the probability that five randomly selected 40-year-old male will live to be 41-year-old? So if you look at this one, we kind of up the ante because instead of only wanting two 40-year-old male, now we want five of them. So what we're going to do, we're going to say the probability the first one survive and the second one survive and the third one survive and the fourth one survive and the fifth one survive. Oh, wow. So we want all five of them to survive. So I know the probability that the first one will survive is 0.99855. Everybody go for that first percentage. And for this one, how many of them do we want to survive? Five, so we do it to the fifth power. Perfect, good job. So yeah, so you want to do it to the fifth power because you have five of them. Because we want all five of them to um, survive, so you do it to the fifth power. Everybody good why we do 0. 0.99855 to the fifth power? All right, so up next, I'm going to do it in the calculator. So we do 0. 0.99855. And if you look at this button over here, the one that kind of looked like an arrow pointing up, you want to use that button to do to the fifth power. And then you press enter. And you get 0.9928, or you could say 99.28%. And that's it for B. Right. Any question in regard to B? Sweet. All right, so we're actually going to just skip this one for right now and we jump to this one. All right, so we're once again going to be working for, well, with the baby have green eyes so we already said the probability they have green eyes is 0 0.06 and the probability a baby does not have green eyes is 0.94 and yes remember the six percent we're getting it from here and for this one we're doing one minus 0 0.06 are we skipping the other two yeah we're just skipping that one Oh, does it not apply, or are we going to do it later? No, it's, like, you can use it, but like I usually put that one for extra problem. Oh, okay. All right. So for part A, if you look at it, it says, what is the probability that three randomly selected baby have green eyes? So... In this one, where you're saying instead of two randomly selected baby, and now we're doing three randomly selected baby. So we're doing again multiple selection. Since we're doing multiple selection, where are you going to multiply them? So we'll say probably the first one has green eye, and the second one has green eye, and the third one has green eye. So the probability the first one has green eye is 0 0.06. The probability the second one has green eye is 0 0.06. And the probability that their one had green eyes is 0 0.06. So in essence, you could say 0 0.06 to the third power. Oh, you can just answer it like that? Yeah. 
Yeah, because pretty much exponent is the same thing as multiplication. It's just a shortcut way of uh, writing it. So we'll say 0 0.06, and we're going to do it to the third power. So if you look at it, it gave us 2.16e to the negative 4. So one thing you should kind of know, anytime it has this e, it's telling you that's in scientific notation. So that means what we have to do, we have to get this decimal and we have to move it four spaces. And since it's negative, we have to move it to the left. So I'll just do that over here. So 2.16, so you go one, two, three, four, and that's where the decimal go. So anywhere you see like an empty space, you put a zero. So this answer is technically 0 0.0002. Oh, well, what about the one six? We don't, we don't include it or? No, you don't include it. If you kind of notice the trend I've been using, I've been getting four decimal places. So we're just using four decimal places. Okay. Do you prefer the answer in uh, like in that form or is it okay if we put it like 0 0.06 to the third power? Well, I do want the final answer to be like this. Got the eraser. Okay. Yeah, because I do want to see if you could get it from here and convert it into a decimal or a percent. Okay. Okay. So, all right, but that's it for A. Any question for A? All right, let's do B. So for B, it says, what are the probabilities that the first baby has green eye, second doesn't have green eye, and the third baby have green eye? So we want to find the probability of three running select the baby, but not all of them have green eye. The only one that doesn't have green eye is the middle baby. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna go ahead and find that probability. So we're gonna say 0 0.06 multiply by 0 0.94, because that's the probability a baby doesn't have green eyes, and times 0 0.06. Any questions so far? I got 0 0.06 times 0 0.94 times 0 0.06. Very cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this in my calculator. Like other way that you could do this, if you look at it, you have 2.06. So you could say 0 0.06 to the second power multiplied by 0 0.94. But if you want, you could do 0 0.06 multiply by 0 0.94 multiply by 0 0.06 and you get 0 0.0034 or if you want you can say 0.34%. You could also use the exponent so you could say 0 0.06 to the second power multiply by 0 0.0 94, and you'll get the same answer. So you kind of depend if you're okay using exponent, if you're good with exponent, you could just go ahead and use the exponent. All right, but that's it for B. Any question in regard to B? So just remember, if you want, you can shout it out, or if you want, you can put it in the chat room. All right, so let me just scroll on down. Cool, all right. So where did the 0.94 come from? So we know the probability a baby have green eyes. Oh, that's an ugly G. So we know the probability that a baby has green eye is 0 0.06. 
So if I want to find the probability that they don't have green eyes, is essentially kind of think about it, these are two events that are mutually exclusive because you either have green eyes or you don't have green eyes. So you do one minus the 0 0.06, which you get 0 0.94 if you do one minus 0 0.06. So that's where the 0 0.94 come from, just using the complement rule in order to find that. Any other question in regard to B? Okay, cool. You're welcome. All right. So up next, um, let me see. Maybe something else.